Neuroendocrine tumors are commonly abbreviated to NETS. NETS are often hard to diagnose. The symptoms displayed by NETS are very similar to more common conditions. Therefore, it often takes many years, many appointments, seeing many doctors before a NET is found. Whilst NET symptoms do imitate other more common illnesses, lack of awareness of the disease in general contributes to them being misdiagnosed. Depending on where the neuroendocrine tumour is growing in the body, a person could experience the following symptoms or signs. Flushing of the face, rapid heartbeat, nausea, stomach pain, wheezing, hyperglycemia, which is a high level of glucose, sugar, in the blood, which causes frequent urination, increased thirst and increased hunger. Hypoglycemia, which is a low level of glucose sugar in the blood, which causes fatigue, nervousness and shakiness, dizziness, sweating, fainting. Often these symptoms, which is called carcinoid syndrome, are caused when a neuroendocrine tumour secretes serotonin or other hormones into the bloodstream. The tumours which cause these symptoms most often grow in the gastrointestinal tract, including the stomach, small intestine, appendix, colon and rectum. Sometimes these symptoms only start showing themselves after the cancer has spread to other parts of the body, including the liver. Symptoms related to the release of hormones. Diarrhea, facial flushing, hyperglycemia, hypoglycemia, rapid heartbeat, ulcer disease, skin rash, dryness, confusion, anxiety. There are different tests that can be ordered by your doctor. They range from blood tests to nuclear imaging. These tests include blood tests looking for a hormone marker for NETS called chromogranin A, urine tests to measure the breakdown levels of serotonin and other hormones, CT and MRI to scan and image the body's internal organs, bronchoscopy to view the lungs, endoscopy, colonoscopy to look at the stomach and or digestive tract, PET to scan for cancer cells. Two key PET scans used to identify NETS, gallium-68 dotatate and F18 FDG. Biopsy sample of tumour tissue. Echocardiogram to investigate the condition of the heart valves, as these can be affected by some NETS. The most common types of NETS are GI NETS, gastrointestinal, including the small intestine, rectum, stomach, colon, esophagus and appendix, most GI nets grow slowly. P nets, pancreatic nets, L nets, lung nets. Since neuroendocrine cells are spread throughout the body, nets can develop in many different places, including in endocrine glands. The following are also nets. Medullary carcinoma, a type of thyroid cancer that starts in the C cells of the thyroid. Parathyroid cancer or parathyroid adenoma. Thymic neuroendocrine cancer. Pheochromocytoma starts in the cells of the adrenal glands. Paraganglioma starts in the same cells outside the adrenal glands. Pituitary gland tumors. Neuroendocrine tumors of the ovaries or testicles. Merkel cell carcinoma a type of non-melanoma skin cancer. The grade of the tumour describes how the tumour is acting. For instance, is it growing slowly or growing fast? Knowing the grade helps your doctor create a treatment plan for the net. Grade one, these cells divide at a low rate and therefore grow slowly. Grade two, these cells divide at an intermediate rate. Grade three, these cells divide at a fast rate and therefore grow quickly. The stage of the tumour is described as Stage 1, a small tumour that is only found in the original organ it started in. Stage 2, a bigger tumour that may have also spread to lymph nodes nearby. Stage 3, a tumour that has spread to lymph nodes further away in the body. Stage 4, the tumours have spread to more distant organs of the body. Unlike the majority of cancers, low-grade nets can still be associated with tumours that have spread and high hormone secretion. There are different treatments of neuroendocrine tumours and the treatment you are offered is based on the grade and stage 
of your tumours. For more information about the treatments of neuroendocrine tumours or to speak to our specialist telehealth nurse support service, visit Neuroendocrine Cancer Australia www.neuroendocrine.org.au